Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 10 of season 1 of One Tree Hill. Uh, I'm excited to continue watching this uh, amazing show. Last episode, I literally was crying. My heart broke for Nathan uh, because he doesn't deserve to have such a shitty ass dad. Uh, in a way, I feel like, you know, freaking Lucas, who I also love, uh, had a better upbringing by not having Dan as a parent. Uh, I believe that there's such a thing as tough love, which I feel like sometimes, you know, you challenge your kids, you uh, uh, want them to be better uh, at, at anything, but you don't compare yourself to them. That That's something you, you shouldn't do. Like, they are their own individuals with their own goals, and they could be better than you or do some things not as good as you can because we are all individuals, you know? So that is not tough love to me. That is abuse. Uh, and I hate seeing Nathan in that way, you know? I wouldn't, like, I, for instance, I am, I don't know what I'm good at. I am good at puzzles. Josh hates puzzles. I'm not going to compare him with me by saying, oh, at you age, I was doing like a thousand pieces puzzle or some shit like that. Which is not fair, because he is excellent in some other things. And he, you know, could have enjoyed more one thing if I wouldn't be, you know, trying to compare him to me. That is awful. It's an awful thing to do, you know. It is a form of psychological abuse. And I don't like that. And I hate that. And I feel so bad for Nathan. Uh, so, yeah. Also, Lucas Brooke Payton. The love triangle has started, and I didn't know that we had one, and I'm here for it. And also, one thing that people have pointed out is that um, Brooke, the actress who plays Brooke, and the actor who plays Lucas were married. No wonder why they have such a crazy magnetic energy and chemistry. Like, of course they have that. Of course... See, I wasn't seeing something out of nowhere. It's right there. I honestly like them a lot. I like Peyton and Lucas as well, but Peyton is really complicated sometimes. I try my best to understand her. I hope I continue doing that. But sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> you know, she gets on my nerves. Sometimes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love one Tree Hill, subscribe for more, comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about One Tree Hill, and I hope, I really truly hope that you guys enjoy my reaction video for this amazing show. And yes, without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 10 of One Tree Hill. <laughs> Over to you. One other thing I want to point out. That conversation between Deb and and Dan. Not because Dan was there to pressure him. Or not just because he showed up means that he's a better parent than Deb is. Okay? Because sometimes if you're an abusive piece of shit, showing up to make your kid feel worse than he already does, it's not helping. Okay? I'll tell you how much. Okay, they're gonna be staring at each other for like 20 more minutes. Stop it. He left with his clothes on. Again. Mm, thank you. I like that. I think you're good. Amnesia, so don't freak out if I pretend not to know you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sweet. I'd stay like this all day. He's so cute. <laughs> It's being so cute. My children. It's not about sex with me, okay? Oh, okay. When you're ready, I'll be too. Dude, I'm telling you, this boy is just amazing. He was a drugs, I told you. Was a look at them. Oh my god, you're so cute. This is what abusive people Special stuff delivery does. from Mrs. Dan Scott. Dan, and then maybe you and I can talk. Good, Deb. We stand this woman. Yes. Yes, you bitch. Not that hard. Like Brooke, who I understand is nice and easy. It doesn't. There's nothing bad to being to to start a relationship from a 
easy place. It doesn't have to be complicated to to not being real. Okay, so I'm not liking this Peyton is a lot more serious than Brooke. And that doesn't it's a fun relationship. They, they are teenagers, they have to have fun. There's nothing wrong with that. She makes me laugh. That's good. She's honest, she's not afraid to be herself. Yes. Okay, plus she's not covered head to toe in issues. And that is also a good so thing. Bad about that. And there's nothing wrong with wanting something like that. I just I swear God. Nothing. Nothing. If you're happy, I'm happy. Okay. Thank Fine. you, sweetheart. You left so quick the other night. Not that quick. Just stare that. at him for like 20 minutes. Did he tell you what happened? We didn't really do much talking after you left, if you know what I mean. Woo! <laughs> I was just returning a CD I borrowed. I see you vertical. <laughs> Whitey. <How laughs> I love him. Like? Same as always. You're a good guy, Luke. And she's my best friend. So you can talk openly with him, but not with her? I've dropped off lately. I'm beginning to take it. Hey, Lee. I'm glad you're seeing Nathan. I'm glad to. to have someone like you. True. Thanks. Bye. Deb is, I, I love this woman. Like, honestly, she's amazing. A day without cheer. Hour one. <laughs> There's something wrong with Count on it. I was over bros. <laughs> I love it, man. I am gonna borrow this, though. Casey's feeling frisky. <laughs> I love Brooke. Tell me I heard this wrong. Oh, God. This child. Don't knock in. You did not. It's a great idea. It's good. 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 Is yeah. he buying condoms? Lucas, are you all right? Yeah. Hey, I'm just thinking it's <laughs> Plus, for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brooke so much. Hi, Mrs. Scott. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> True. I love them. <laughs> all the things sticking my Whip cream and condoms. <laughs> that was very really funny though. <laughs> but what is it? If he wants to have sex, he better be you protected so he, you know, doesn't knock her up at such a young age. He's being responsible. Why will we have a problem with this? I understand. Different times, I guess. I don't know, but I wouldn't. Like, okay, whatever. Go home and a basketball pedigree any kid would die for. Fuck off. Hang on. Oh, Peyton can draw. Hi, Keith, Mikey. Nice talking to you, too. Hey, oh, I'm glad you're here. It's a way she trusts you to handle this. You could always lock him in the cellar. <laughs> I'm going to Keith. suggest talking to him. Or that. <laughs> yeah, true. But he's using a condom. He's going to be competitive and shit again. Seriously. She's got you in a short leash. Oh, shut up, bitch. Yeah. Sorry, I just... Back. He is nice the work. one. No, see? Why? 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 This is this sick idea of, of, of guys have to be, you know, detached, emotionally detached bullshit. Shall I uh, send up your bags? I, that. I have some golf clubs. The Luke Scott that I know is better than this. Better than Look, what? Look, Scott, I know he's not my mother, all right? He's not even her boyfriend. Shit. So this really isn't your business. Well, that's He is your wrong. uncle. Because while I'm here, it is my business. Yeah. You know, see if the guy staring back at you is the kind of person that you want to be. Okay. I feel like this is really unnecessary drama right now. Watch and learn. Oh yeah, because you're so much better at everything you do, bitch. I just did. <laughs> Such an asset. Cat power. No, yeah, I do. I mean, if you want help. Oh my god, yeah. am I shipping Haley and, and, and Peyton? Why am I doing this? Yes, I would love help. <laughs> yeah, come on. So this is Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Oh, she's so cute. Is she? Yeah, they help out a lot. Between three of us, we're handling it. Wow, I that is amazing. About you, man. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, I already knew this. But, um, so. why keep her a secret? 
because she was ashamed of me. No, oh, sweetheart. Trust me, man. You don't want to hide this. But listen to your friend. Yeah, it's it, it, not because he felt like that. It means that he was like that. But he felt that, you know. So learn from from your friend. Are you gonna come? He doesn't have any idea how much this is killing me. And why don't you tell her? I don't know what kind of karmic monster I was in a past life. <laughs> no, <laughs> you just you just don't talk and expect people to rocks. read your mind. <laughs> Like, like she's open with Haley, really so don't I don't know why she can be open with Brooke. Like, <laughs> an epic romance, okay? Don't say that. I mean, he did ask me. To... Loose grip, line it up, good. Stop it! What, what the hell are you doing? Because it you're an idiot. Like that. Hey, watch it. You know what? This whole thing is just another chance for you to pick me apart yeah. and show me how much better you are. Yeah. Well, there you go, Dad. You just kicked my ass. He's tired of this. I killed myself for you. You know that? What are you talking about? Drugs, Dad. I took drugs for you. Yeah. No. My son would never take drugs. Listen to him. Son. It's all about you, isn't it, Dad? You know yeah. why Mom kicked you out? Because you're a bully. You don't give a damn about anything other than your own ego. Yes. Keep your voice down. No. You know what you should do? You should... Nobody is. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. I'm glad she, he told him. But everything is about him, you know? It's a piece of crap he is. Well, you always were a sorry paper boy. <laughs> Whenever you did manage. I just. Be honest. Come on, Peyton. You're right. It's it's the whole third wheel thing, I guess. I just missed you. <laughs> then will you please? She needs to start like trying to open up. Brooke is. It's nothing but like supportive and like. Yeah, it's just a lot more let loose, like a lot more fun. But doesn't mean that she can't hear you, that she can't talk to you, you know? Hey, so I just... Oh, that was adorable. Um, so normally, so everyone, this is my daughter, Jenny. And Jenny... Oh, she's adorable. This is my whole world. <laughs> no, thank you. Jerk never called you back, did he? <laughs> no. Oh, believe me, you don't want to talk to me. I feel like Deb also needs to step up a little bit, have a real conversation with him that lasts more than just a few seconds and actually tell him, you know, my son, you are right. You're not supposed to feel like this. He's not supposed to make you feel like this. You know, you're great. I wish we had a conversation like that. Ooh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. Thanks, Peyton. Oh, Jake and Peyton. Okay. Because it's fun. Yeah. Just play because it's fun. Because you don't have to win. You don't have to lose. Nothing. <laughs> I love them too. I, I love them so much. I feel like I'm supposed to know who that is. Oh! He's the one who gives him. She's the one who sings the intro, right? I love this! I had no idea who he was. <laughs> it was just having fun. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. Yes, look at my boy having fun. You have a problem, Dan. Yeah, You're competitive you're a bitch. and controlling, and you need some help. Since when did you become mother of the year? Fuck you! Last I knew you were out of sight. Help. But at least I'm trying to help. That you is a good thing. No one is perfect. What about me. I bitch. want you to see someone. I think you're gonna stop me from seeing my own son. You're gonna stop me from seeing Try the other me. one. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I love Deb with all my heart. Like, she's like, yesterday, like in the previous episode, she was like, I'm gonna slice you, bitch. Like, seriously. Now she's like, Try me, bitch. I'm I just like, we stand a powerful woman. Okay, guys, that was the end of season one, episode 10 of One Tree Hill. 
I have said many times, no one is perfect. I'm not here to defend Whitey, to defend Deb, uh, or any of the grown-ups, okay? I'm not here to do that because we all make mistakes, okay? There is no, like, it's not like when you have a child, the child comes with a book letting you know this, 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 and this you have to do, and this ha things you can do. No, you learn on the way. Just as you learn to be a parent, you learn to be respectful to your parents. It's all a, a journey, a process. So I, I get, you know, the fact that Deb has been an absent uh, mother because she has been working, focusing more on her career than uh, in her family. Okay, which is not something that is as bad as Dan makes it seem. But now she wants to be part of her son's life and she wants to make an effort. Now, I would love to see more of that effort other than like her being a savage towards Dan, which I adore. But I want to see her actually, you know, committing to go into his games, committing to, you know, have pep talks to him to, hey, how is it? How, how are you and, and Haley? What are you feeling? Things like that. I want to see an, a, a more connection between Deb and, and Nathan. Uh, because I, one, I think he needs that. And two, she's been preaching that she wants to do this. Yet she hasn't done major things to ch try to change this situation. Uh, what I, I, I like, you know, I like about this entire thing is that you see the grown-ups being normal grown-ups with mis making mistakes but trying to fix them. You don't see that from Dan. Now, what kind of problem could he have? A trauma? Or just like, can you f fix someone who's just simply a bitch? Like, can you? I honestly don't. I don't have any hopes for Dan. There's, I'm not here to try to justify him, to try to redeem him, to try... Sorry. I, cannot, I, I can't and won't ever understand him. Especially the way he has been behaving towards him. I don't know. They might try to do it. I will see if I, 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 I feel like I understand him. So far, I don't. He had an opportunity to make his, his kid feel special. Every single interaction they have, it's about, it's a competition for him. I feel like his, his ability, or sorry, his uh, idea, you know, of keeping himself relevant, of keeping himself like he is such a, you know, the best thing. Oh, because Karen wanted me to be a a parent, but I, pss, I don't want to, I don't want that. I'm the important one in that situation. I'm the one, these two are dying for me to be that role, pa role model for that kid, but I don't want to. Same thing with Nathan. Oh, my son, he wants to be like me. I'm the one who make him like that. You know, do you see how egocentric that is? And what is it that he's hiding behind all of that? What fear does he has of not being relevant? of not being seen, of no one caring about him. Because honestly, I don't understand any other reasons why. I don't, I, so far, I haven't seen him being a good parent to, like, to Nathan or to Lucas. Of course, to Lucas, he, he has never been a good parent. Um, but the thing is that everything is a competition. Everything. Everything is like, oh, I would have done that better than you. Like, grow up. Who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? Like, and I'm, I'm talking about the, the golf thing where they were supposed to have fun. Was he having fun? His lack of empathy towards his kid is just astonished. When I see Josh having, like, anything, when he feels bad, when something, like, for instance, he's, he's not very good still, you know, with handwriting. The minute he does something good, I just, I, I want to make him feel great so he can continue flourishing, you know? It's, I, I wouldn't be saying things like, oh my god, that's bad. Oh, at your age, I was doing so much better. I have such an amazing handwriting. Even if I do, even if I don't. You don't do that. What? It's like, 
I'm, I'm telling you, it's the lack of empathy he has for anyone. Is he a sociopath? Now that I'm watching the, <laughs> the mind of Jake Paul and all this shit thing of them talking about sociopaths, it's, is he? But I don't even think he is because he's not likable. Who the fuck likes Dan? I mean, he can present himself as a, a as a good person, but he's just the worst, the worst person. Like, what what does he win? What 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 does it make him feel when he can be better than his son? When he can be better than 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 a kid? Does does he what what does the make you feel like he's important? Really, his accomplishment has to come from his son losing so he can feel better. At the end of the day, when the father son thing happened and he made the he should and he was able to win, he felt like a piece of shit afterwards, and not even because of that feeling. He can say, "Huh, okay." Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Nothing. Nothing. And it's just, it's unbelievable to me that he is just, lacks empathy so freaking much. What the hell did they did when he was a kid? Like, I, I honestly, there's not, I don't, I cannot think of other explanation. Was his dad like that with him as well? Kid seems like a completely different person, but... What 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 happened? Like honestly, when I think that he has always has this big ego and it just keeps growing. I want to know the reason why he stopped playing as well. Do we know that? Are we going to know? Uh because I, I honestly it blows my mind how much of an idiot he can be. Honestly, and it's just it's abuse. I'm sorry, it's not tough love. It's not at this point, it's not tough love. It's psychologically abuse. Nathan will rather die having some drug in his system so his dad can be happy. That is the level of, of, of pressure he has put on Nathan. And it just sucks, okay? And like I said, I wish that Nathan and Deb could talk a little bit more to actually, you know, have real conversations for Nathan to also come out her and say, you know what, why you care now, you know? So they can have an openly conversation with, where, you know, she say, well, I did this, but I'm ready to change. I'm ready to be better because no one teaches you how to be a parent and there, it's never late to change, Okay, so, yeah. Uh, then you have the Peyton, Peyton, Brooke, Lucas uh, situation. Now, I understand that Keith wants to prevent from Lucas to, you know, knock her up. But we, as parents, have to understand the kids at that age, they are going to be curious about that. And... There's nothing wrong with that. He was taking precautions by buying condoms, which is the safest way to have sex. Now, I don't understand why it was such a big deal. I, I honestly don't understand. And I, this might be because from my point of view, that is the best thing you can do to your kid, to teach him to be responsible, to wear a condom, to be careful. What else can you do? You're not going to tell him to go celibate. Or like he doesn't have sex ever. Until he's married or he's 30. It's not going to happen. We have to not be delusional. By thinking oh my kid wouldn't do that. He, of course he or she will. It's normal. So I, I, I that part. It kinda, I kind of lose me. It might be because of the fact that you know. This is, I don't know if by 2000 or 2000, whatever, the that pill for the next day was there. Because that's another way to, if if something, uh, if, an, you know, the condom breaks or something, you can have that. But not having sex is not the solution for kids to not get pregnant, so... Who? What the hell? Like I don't understand. I I I seriously, and this might be just just me not understanding why where they were trying to go with it. I know, 
And I think it's because they don't want him to, you know, get uh, Brooke knocked up. And that is okay. But also, what is he supposed to do? He's at that age. He has, he will have sex. So it's better if he's doing it with someone he knows, someone he cares, and he is protecting himself. Like, he's taking care of himself so he doesn't knock her up. There's no uh, STDs or things like that as well because he's wearing a condom. If we keep treating as taboo, it's going to be just the worst thing. So I am going to assume that it's due to the 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 year this was released. I don't know. I I I, I honestly don't know why it was such a big deal. Um, I like Brooke and, and Lucas. I hate the fact that both Peyton and Haley talk about Brooke and, and Lucas as as. Oh, it's just a temporary thing. It's never gonna happen. They are together. Have a little bit more respect towards your friends, you know? You know, that Brooke is Peyton's best friend, and she's still saying, Oh, yeah, but she's easy, you know? That's, that's No one actually takes her serious. What kind of friend are you that you're hoping for your friend friend's relationship to fail, or that you know they will fail because your friend is easy? Like... And honestly, also the 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 comment Haley made about the fact that, uh, oh, uh, I don't feel like it's an epic romance. I get that you're friends with Peyton, a lot more closer to Peyton, but that doesn't give you the right to say that because Lucas has been trying really hard to not say the same things about you and Nathan because he doesn't see what you see. So maybe we should trust him that he sees something on Brooke that anyone else can see because I understand and this is not me not hating uh Peyton or or Haley because I love them I love them but uh Peyton cannot expect for pre for people to read read her mind it's not gonna happen she needs to stop doing that she truly needs to stop doing that because it's it's like it's insane and then she's like, to look, she's like, oh, yeah, I cannot fight with you. Mate, she's my best friend. I understand. But to Brooke, she doesn't tell her shit. And what is what is she expecting? Like, seriously. Even if they, if she does say something, but it, I, I wouldn't want my best friend to break up with the guy she's, she likes, even if I like him, you know, and the guy seems to like her back. And yes, it was a thing of minutes because, you know, Peyton say no one day in the next two days she actually changed her mind but like well you were too late so you were gonna have to just get used to that you know uh I'm not saying I I don't like Peyton I'm just saying that she makes things way more complicated than they need to be and she expects for things to be a certain way and when they don't happen like that, then she complains. Like she said, full on. And the minute Lucas start da starts dating Brooke, Peyton is like, oh, no, right, I do love you. Like, no. Is it? Is it? Is it she afraid? It makes me think that she's afraid to be alone, that she's afraid to lose the, the attention. What is it? Like, I don't like the way they're writing Peyton. It's okay to be, you know, a little bit clothes and like you don't like to open up to people and I get it it's okay to be like that but it's at the same time don't expect for everyone to read your mind it's not gonna happen um but anyways this episode was really good I really truly enjoyed it I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love um if you love One Tree Hill that was my mom Subscribe for more, comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. Also, hit the notification bell. And also, if you want to watch the full on car reaction video for this episode and for all the episodes for season one, just go to Patreon. Link will be in the description down below. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>